Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your career and finance reading. Ooh, they're popping out for um, October 2022. And this is um, going to be actually, anytime you actually come across it, if you're meant to see, you'll be led to it at that time. So what is going on? What do you need to know about your career or business? Let's see here. We have two of summer. So we're starting out with the two of cups. So this is lovebirds. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotions in your current relationship, marriage, or romantic partnership and in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. This could also be a business partnership since we are doing a career and business uh, reading. So this could be a work balance. This could be a union of access. This could be beneficial um, connections here. Okay, and then we have we have the Queen of Spring, which be the Queen of Wands, which be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Persian Cat. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So you might be very busy in demand here. The Queen of Wands is very independent. It's a way shower, a go getter. That's the energy of the Queen of Wands. Very um, very creative very exciting okay and then we have the prince of autumn prince of autumn would be the knight of pentacles yeah and so this is someone that is stable reliable dedicated and like i said what i what i love about the prince of autumn i was watching a, a show um about the different animals and the different mating and and it's about the the seahorses and how the seahorses the actually the female plants her eggs into the male and he accepts them and then he carries them he's the one who carries the babies and he has 400 eggs that he disperses into the ocean when there's time and then after he does that he goes looking for the female because she at the meantime she's trying to develop more eggs in order to impregnate him again and then it all starts all over again and so that's why this one is like a king here you know he's got the little crown he's a prince but he's a king because look how much work he does wow he's very reliable very dependable trustworthy dedicated protected funny okay it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor once you have the plan in place then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible Hey, hey, hey there. That's sounding good. Okay, let's, um, sounding, sounding. <laughs> okay, I've been doing a lot of these reading, and I I'm, I'm ha have to tell you these, the career and finances, they're long reading because there's a lot coming out into them. Um, So they're very detailed. Let's see. So let's see here. Why do we have the two of summer? We have the five of coins because someone might have felt left out, abandoned here, but you are, um, you're bringing things together here. So it's, you know, it's a sad thing if someone feels left out, but I think you're going into a new direction. So, um, this is coming out of this, maybe even feel like you're in poverty or this is temporary, um, hardships that are changing, you know, it's coming into a partnership here. So, um, what about this queen of spring? We have the ace of wands. Oh, how nice is this? This is new ideas coming in. This is inspiration. Um, this it, being very creative. So there's new opportunities coming towards you. Um, this is pursuing your dreams. This is, yeah, a spark of inspiration. New beginnings, new offers. What about the Prince of Autumn? We have the King of Cups. Okay, so this is someone that's very admirable. They have actions that are, you know, people look up to them. They're very um, considerate. This is, it could be a counselor too. This is also loving what you do. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. All right, bottom deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands coming up in, in your um, career and finance, this would be that someone that is very passionate, freedom loving. Also, a person that is a jack of all trades. Very capable of doing a lot of different things. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, let's go over to what can you do to move forward? Oops. Came out the cow. Okay, seven of autumn. So we have the cow here. We have the planning, resources, and efforts you invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next steps. So this is knowing that what 
all the work that you have put in in the past, it's going to come to you. There's going to it's going to be a payoff here. You're going to harvest what you have um, sowed here. So this is coming in for you. The seven of autumn would be like the seven of wands. This is um, you know, pushing through things. It's um holding your own it's defending yourself you're capable of doing this okay and then we have here the hermit okay so this is virgo energy so this is going within this is um with the hermit energy it says here take time up for contemplation to retreat and go within be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment so you could be helping others too this is you going within to find out the information that you can actually um help other people achieve what you're achieving because you're going to be a leader here this is being self-contained this is doing the research this is time management this is also maybe keeping some things to yourself okay now the seven of autumn i don't know why oh yeah this... wait i'm missing one okay i'm jumping ahead here let me get one more me one more here okay so we have oh six of summer okay so this is six of cups this is memories going back in um to your childhood this is the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it um old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams can are ready to be revived now this is also um, you know, someone could come back from your childhood and now help you work or something, or maybe you're working together, or there's a project that you're interested in the past has come back in. It could also be something that maybe you wanted to do in the past and it didn't pan out, but now might be the time that it can. So coming back around here, the six is, is, is childhood dreams, working with youth and also, um, you know, rewards for past efforts too. What about the seven of autumn? we have here the hanging we have pisces energy this is seeing things in a different perspective maybe being really patient with things here because that's what you have to wait for something to maybe be in a certain frame or something to be just right before you know it it's also um, bringing things in a different perspective too this is a temporary holding um something might be hanging in the balance yeah with the seven autumn it's, it's just like it wasn't ready yet. It wasn't time yet. So being patient. But this is good for you. It's a good thing that you have to wait. It's going to work out better that way. Okay. And why do we have the Hermit? We have the Four Swords. Okay. So this is definitely feel like you're going within. This is like meditation. This is the Hermit going within. So this is like almost saying the same thing in a way with the Four Swords. This is um also maybe you have to sleep on it. There might be some kind of frustration. Um, take some time out, walk away from the matter. Sometimes you can't see the forest through the tree. So you have to step back to see what's really going in. And this is also saying step back and go within. You know, see what you feel. See, meditate on it. Definitely strong meditating because the hermit meditates. The four of swords is a meditating card. So it would really help if you can meditate to try to figure out the answers. And you will get the answers, especially with these two cards showing up like this. So, yeah, so this looks good. Okay, now what about the six of summer the six of cups and we have the four of wands wow okay so with the four of wands this is partnerships this is committed to a goal this is deals here this is maybe even starting a business with someone this is commitment this is long term okay and then we have here the ten of coins wow okay so this is awesome this is having a lot of money coming in this is financial security this is uh, financial abundance this is um retirement this is purchasing of a home or a long-term investment especially after we get the four of wands that looks so good do you know what this oh yeah ten of spring so this is the end of burdens here this is um the saint bernard dog you're working for far too hard and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for the help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. That's why you also got this timeout card with the Hermit and the Four of Swords. You might need to take a little breather here, take a break. You know, t this is a workaholic. This is um, maybe time to delegate some of, of your chores or your options, or I'm not options, your um, your duties, your, your jobs that you have to do. Maybe you can have someone under you do some of this work. 
um, because you otherwise you're getting very exhausted from all the work you have to do so you need to ha hire someone maybe you need um you can't do it alone you need some help maybe even outside help um outsource some of your work too maybe um how can you be more financially successful okay we have the princess of winter which would be the page of swords um logical truthful curious undiplomatic seagull this is a intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution is helpful information is put to you bluntly accept the message without being bothered by the messenger someone might just be a little callous a little raw the way they they tell you something but don't pay attention to them so much you know they don't know any better just um get the message the message is what is important not how it was actually given to you okay so now this is um someone also that's very detail oriented um expert opinions this could be reading the fine print too also with the princess of winter this could be that people are noticing you you're getting watched it could be a headhunter or recruiter or someone might be interested in you too there might be an offer coming in here with this princess of winter now we have the high priestess so this is this is a time to pause and reflect it seems like you have a lot of telling you take it easy you might be a workaholic here this might be like you're going 240 here so um you might have to slow down a bit so in order to be more financially successful it's telling you that this is a time to pause and reflect not to take action trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition there might be secrets but nothing's hidden from you because your intuition is very strong here. Especially this, I kept on getting this meditate, meditate. If you meditate, especially with the high priestess, you're going to get some, some serious information coming in. Um, your intuition is so strong here. This is, um, Virgo and, and Cancer energy here with the high priestess. Yeah. So very strong intuition. And, um, also with the high priestess, this is sometimes less is more and, you know, it really is the intuition is your key and keeping things to yourself. There's secrets. There's secrets that you have to keep. You can't let everybody know your business because it would not do you any good. They will try to sabotage you. Now we have the stars. So you're going to shine bright. You're, you're coming into the limelight here, maybe even, or there's something that you're getting acknowledged for. This is like one of the happiest cards in the deck. So the Oreo, you are about to take a big leap forward in your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism. Bear with hope and joy is coming home to roost beautiful okay and also this is um things turning out for the better or on the right path being in the right place at the right time the best possible outcome very positive card one of the most positive cards in the deck and then we have the king of autumn which would be the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn and we have compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded gypsy banner horse so everything's going to turn out great projects will be stunningly successful exciting new career opportunities are possible and money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely nice okay let's clarify these cards this princess of winter we have the moon see secrets things hidden with the moon pisces energy so this is your energy so now we have mystery we have um unclear phase at this time but you need to face your fears so whatever's going in here face your fears things will be revealed in time the moon okay what about the high priestess the empress Woo! with the high priest oh are you ever potent okay so with the high priestess here this will be you know this is a uh, a very fertile investments for you this is the feminine authority this is creation you can create whatever you want between the high priestess and your intuition and the empress with creation there's no stronger intuition than these two together here this is amazing so it's like um this is um taurus and libra energy but this is anything you touch could you have like the Midas touch this is prosperity and abundance it's a very abundant one of the most abundant cards in the deck this is a very lucrative outcome this is um creation this is giving birth to new jobs new um, a new job a new business um whatever you want to create at this time you can all you need is a magician then boy are we going to be taking off here <laughs> we got the star let's cl uh, clarify the star 
justice wow look at that things are going to be balanced things going to be fair we have libra energy we have justice here this is might be contracts legal, legal matters weighing in the factors here this is going to weigh in your favor because you have the star you have the hopes and dreams and wishes come true amazing and then we also have the seven of wands again you're standing out above the rest this is um this is pursuit pushing through to holding your own um, defending yourself whatever you need to do here you got it you're standing above the rest you're getting noticed too um where what do you need to improve nine of winter okay so don't fret about things um the sea line your your worries and fears aren't aren't real they're fueled by focusing on the negative which gives power to that which you're afraid of stop worrying let go of fear and everything will be okay that's what you need to improve you got to stop worrying if you stop worrying things will work out better think positive if you get any kind of negative thoughts say cancel 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 and replace it with a positive thought and that will change your outcome because you oh, what do you think about you bring about so now with the nine of swords here it's like this could be causing insomnia this could be having that victim mentality it could be um a clouded judgment okay let's see what else we have we have the three of spring so things are coming you put in a lot of work that is going to be coming in your ships are coming in so now with the sea turtle stop to take time to review and make long-term plans capitalizing upon your past successes it's appropriate to pat yourself on the back on the back <laughs> for all your accomplishments but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. So things, you know, we do, are going through some retrogrades here, which are, you know, making things take longer. You know, they're, so, you know, things are, once everything, we go through the end of this year, by that time, everything's going to really be moving. But things are going to start now, in October. Things are going to start moving along. So we have here the 6th of Autumn, Kiwi here. So with the 6th of Autumn, this is, um, your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans, or receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings. Be sure to share your wealth with others through donations or time or money or reputable charities. So this is like having a give and take. So when you receive, you have to give. And that balances everything else to keep your life in balance. So with this, is a helping hand. This is a loan approved. This is... um. This could be a bonus or a raise coming in for you because you've done the work you should get compensated for. Now, why do we have the nine of winter here? We have the hermit again. Okay, so here we go. We have Virgo energy here. We have this going within. Also, I feel like, you know, you have the, this is saying you have the capabilities of getting out of this feeling, this depression, this, you know, feeling the insomnia the victim thing you could go within you could heal yourself here with this hermit card so this is um self-contained this is doing the research time management you know heal yourself you can the king of wands okay so the king of wands for the the three of spring which is the three of wands so this is someone that's a mentor this is someone that is very motivational very experienced uh, uh entrepreneur here this is baby you to opening your own business starting your own business doing something here because you you might be waiting for the opportunity to do that maybe that's what's stressing you out because you're waiting for something to come in you maybe you're waiting for that loan what this is saying the loan is coming in this is aries leo sagittarius and this is the strength card so for the six of autumn here you have the strength card this is leo energy this is um this is a strong leader this is um you know like you have so many skills you're you're just on fire with your skills it's it's owning your power is you know don't be afraid to assert yourself here you have the strength you have the backing you could do this you're very strong you're very powerful okay now do we have the bottom here okay we have the queen of cups the queen of cups is very content in life they're very happy uh, money isn't everything finding your purpose very intuitive again a very intuitive card scorpio cancer pisces energy very loving okay and we have the dreamer okay on the bottom of this deck we have the dream this is like the fool card this is you know taking a leap of faith this is a risk taker this is um 
adventure awaits you. This is the shepherd puppy. It says you are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. Okay, now, what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? The Prince of Summer. Okay, so the Prince of Summer is the Knight of Cups. Maybe someone's coming in to romance you. You might have to overcome that. Let's see. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and chanting. You might be, be being enchanted here. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will swoop you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters, so stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect so um don't be swept off your feet but also since we are doing a finance reading so this will be someone that is very creative very persuasive very charming um this is also someone that leads with their heart so maybe even you maybe if you're a leader you're going to lead with your heart you're going to show people you're going to be charming to them you're you know you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar so you know that will come in too <laughs> So that might be an obstacle. You might be, the obstacle might be that you have someone that's very charming and sweet talker and tries to connive people. Or it also could be that maybe someone has to be more like that. Take it how it resonates with you. And then we have the dreamer came up again. So the shepherd puppy. Um, this is like taking a leap of faith, being willing to take that leap of faith. Maybe that's the obstacle. Maybe you're afraid to take that leap, um, something new, start something new. But this is saying you have to overcome that. And then we have the lovers. Okay, Flamingo. So this is true and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring, action, and choices. And also the love for like a financial career. It's, it's a common goal. This is facing a dis decision. And um, also saying that you have a beneficial partner here. So you actually have the help. You need Gemini energy, Aries, um, Aquarius energy, Prince of Summer is Scorpio Cancer Pisces energies. And then at the bottom we have the Two of Autumn. Obsidian Cat, you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. Have some fun. Get out there. Have some fun. Okay, now, Prince of Summer. Let's clarify the Prince of Summer. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay, something returning from the past. Past memories, things coming back. Maybe even something that you like to do as a child that you might make a business out of it now because you enjoyed it so much. It'll take off because this is saying, yes, this would work. This is something you love. Here's the, the Prince of Summer. Someone has a lot of love for something. And then we have the Six of Cups. So, yeah, why not? This could be someone returning from the past. This could be dealing with children, de dealing with the youth. This is... um. Uh, a reward for past efforts also could be coming in. This is childhood dreams. Okay, now what about the dreamer, the fool card here? Six of Wands. Okay, you're going to get recognized for what you're doing. You're taking this leap of faith by doing this, by taking this leap of faith and taking a chance here. You're going to get recognized. You're going to get rewarded. This is going to be, you're at the finish line. This is recognition for whatever you have done before, your talents. This is completion of a project. This is saying, yes, you're achieving your goals here and people are noticing. And what about the lovers here? Let's see. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. So with the temperance card, this is balancing things out. This is patience is a key. It's um, a very relaxed atmosphere. This is cooperation, things working out, smoothing out, balancing out with other, a partnership here. I didn't do that. Oh, we got the lovers on the bottom again. I just, <laughs> whew, so that's definitely confirming the lovers there. There's some kind of partnership coming in. Okay, so what is coming in in their future? We have the Three of Winter. So this is the Three of Swords. This is Rose-Breasted Grosbeak. It's um sadness is part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you'll be stronger than before. And being in this, this could be someone could be terminated, so an uh, uh, unpleasant outcome. This is also licking your wounds, but we'll clarify that. Um, then we have life experiences. Now, this is the tower, number 16. So this is shocking news. This is, you know, unforeseeable events. This could be something coming in. But, you know, after the tower comes the star. So sometimes it feels like, you know, you might have to go through this in order to experience what you're supposed to experience and get to where you're supposed to be. 
um, your destiny here, your, um, your soul's path. Because when we don't do what we're supposed to do, then comes in the tower so that it puts us on our right path. So the cuckoo, important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new direction. You know are right for you. That's why you have the full card. If you, it's saying here, if you take this, you're afraid to do this. If someone's afraid to take this leap of faith, then the tower is going to come in to make sure that you do. Okay. And then we have, and the tower is Scorpio Aries energy. Now we have the Prince of Winter, which is the Knight of Swords. So this is a thoroughbred horse. Get ready to progress. Get ready for progress to speed up. This situation requires you to choose logic, intellect over emotion and make your decision quickly. So after this life experience coming, the tower comes in, things are going to move very quickly for you. So this is um, Aries and Scorpio energy. I'm, I'm sorry, the tower is Aries and Scorpio energy. The Prince of Winter is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm looking at it and say, why did I say that? But the, I was thinking about the tower. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, so seven of spring. This is protecting yourself. This is defending yourself. So here we have, be assertive, believe in yourself, and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. And also what this is saying, you know, you're pushing through something. You're getting through it. You're holding your own and you're defending yourself. And you're going to achieve the success you need here. Okay, now what about the three of winter? Okay, nine cups. See, going through after this heartache, this pain, or whatever it is, this is going to be your dreams or wishes come true here with the nine of cups. And being the, the nine of cups here, this is jackpot. This is a dream job. This is um, personal fulfillment. It's like sometimes we have to go through something that's not too easy or painful in order to get to our true happiness. So then we have the tower, the life experience, and then we get the high priestess. Yes, your intuition. This is like a breakthrough, I would say. With the tower coming in, maybe you are not paying attention to your intuition, not realizing how strong you are. And some people get afraid of their intuition and they, they're, if they're meant to use it and, and spirit is trying to talk to you, they're gonna, they're gonna throw the tower at you. So then we have your intuitions coming out. This is, you know, less is more in this card. This is also a mystery, but you know what's going on. This is like, you know, secrets that other people don't know. This is saying that your intuition is the key and also keeps things to yourself. You know, sometimes you don't have to tell everybody everything. Now, Prince of Winter. The Fool. Yeah, there's gonna be a new beginning. Absolutely here. This is, blind faith this is taking a risk this is a venture this is um you know starting something new aries and aquarius energy high priestess is virgo cancer energy bottom deck we have the two of swords being undecided not knowing what to do here this is deadlock this is negotiations this is caught in the middle there might be something you're trying to figure out you may be negotiating a new job a new position and there's a deadlock right now but just hold on play it out see what happens okay now what or whom is helping you? And we have the world completion, ending a cycle. So here we have the Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You made it through the challenges and incorporate the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. That's exactly what's going on here. You had to go through some challenges, had to learn some lessons, and now you achieved it. You're you're moving on. And also world, this is world events. This is final destinations. This is ending a cycle to start, start something new. This is conclusions that are reached. In the end, it's reached. Okay, and then we have eight of spring. This is move, fast movement now. It's um the B. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. This is getting a lot of opportunities, a lot of things coming, also a lot of communication. The bees are very industrial. The bees are very hard workers. So you might have a lot of work being sent your way, but you can handle. God never gives you more than you can handle. So be prepared because things are going to start taking off and you're going to be really busy here. Okay, one more. Strength. You have the strength to do this. Have the strength card come up again. Okay, so it says you have all the strength you need to do whatever you have to do. So here we have um, Leo energy and it says Messiah, Lion, and Lamb. True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. 
Don't forget that. In the bottom deck we have here, renewal. This is judgment. This is coming back around. This is wake-up call. This is second chances. This is um, results are pending on something here. But it says, it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment. And, okay, so you got to forgive what has been without judgment and fiercely embrace what's to come. So there's new, there's something renewal coming in. There's new things coming in. You just got to let the past go and be ready for this new life of yours because it's going to be something else. It's going to be amazing. Okay, let's clarify the world. We have the Eight of Swords. Now, this is feeling trapped. Is It's feeling... Um, this is a mental prison that you're putting yourself in. This is feeling restricted, blocked at every turn. But you're not. You're capable of getting out of this. This is your own doing of putting yourself blocked there. You have the capabilities of, of breaking free. Now, why do we have the Eight of Spring, the Eight of Wands? We have the Sun. Happiness coming in. All this hard work, all this is coming in is going to make you very happy in the end. You're going to be able to handle it. The God's not giving you more than you can handle and you have the strength card here and here's leo energy here's leo energy you have the strength of leo here it's um this is going to turn out better than you ever imagined this is going to be on the right path at the right time with the best possible outcome and what about the strength card here page of swords see you're getting noticed here this is detail oriented this is a, um make sure you read the fine print the expert opinions coming in with this but this is also saying you're getting noticed People are watching you. People are seeing your work. You're going to get some kind of offer here with this. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming in. Okay. And then we have judgment again. See something coming back around. This could be a wake-up call. You know, if you were like sleeping and out or trying to just get by, uh-uh-uh. The universe, God has more plans for you, so it's not going to let you sleep. It's going to wake you up. <laughs> Second chances to do what you're supposed to do before that you didn't do. This and um, results are pending. Okay, <laughs> so now let's see your potential outcome. Okay, so we have the seven of winter. So um, this is magpie. Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources such as time and peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So be very cautious. Um, someone might be, you know, kind of jealous and trying to maybe steal your ideas or something. That's why I say keep things to yourself because if people get a chance to take some credit for what you're doing, they will. Not everybody, but some people. We have the magician here, unicorn. There is a magic in the air. You can manifest anything you need to be successful. For me, the magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. So you have all your tools you need to do whatever you need to manifest this. This is um, law of attraction. This is materializing your wealth. This is your desires are within reach. You can do whatever you want to do here. You can do this. And then we have the Prince of Spring, which would be the Knight of Wands and Aries Leo Sagittarius. So we have passionate charismatic, confident, restless, dolphin. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. And you've been getting told that you can handle this. It might seem like a lot, but it's, you're going to be so happy once you accomplish it. And then it's going to be all easy sailing after that. 12, awakening here. Okay, so with the 12 card, this would be... Okay, this is the hangman. Okay, it took me for a minute. So this is your sign, uh, Pisces. Giraffe, look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporary. Things will soon start moving again. So yes, yeah, it might be that you have to wait for a reason because things aren't ready. Things aren't lined up right. You know, everything has to line up correctly and you're waiting for that to happen. Okay, now... Seven of winter, because if you if you rush things and go, it's not going to be as great as the outcome. Now, why do we have the seven of winter? We have the seven of cups, choices, options. You might be confused. You might have too many options, but you know, there's too many options. There's maybe also um, you got a lot of imaginative ideas here, and there's get rich quick schemes. So don't fall for that. That's why this seven of winter. It's this is here. So if you have different opportunities, different options, really weigh them out. Don't jump into anything because someone might be trying to bamboozle you here or something. <laughs> okay, now, oh, I said that. I just got, wow. Is it something with the third eye? When I said that word, I got the pain right in the third eye. So, wow. 
is someone through an eye opening here? I, I, your intuition is really strong, so that could be. Okay, let's see. I, so that, I think what that's telling me is that when this comes along, pay attention. Oh, it's hitting me again. Oh my gosh, it's third eye. When this comes along and someone that's trying to, um, connive you, trying to get over on you, trying to steal from you, trying to do something to you, something underhanded, some kind of thief, you're, pay attention to your third eye. You're going to get a pain like, feels like someone's putting a nail right in between your your eyes up right above in the forehead that's where your third eye and when it's opening that's what happens oh my gosh so you might feel that you might that be, might be the trigger to let you know uh-uh this person's not telling the truth okay what about this magician card <clears throat> we have here the three of wands yet you, you have been waiting for something to come in here so you, you put the effort out you're you're doing the magician you're doing you know, you're doing what you need to do here. You're manifesting. And so the payoffs are coming in. The rewards are coming. They're on the horizon for all the work that you have done. Now the Prince of Spring here, which is the Knight of Wands. We have the Eight of Coins. This is awesome. This is, um, you're eager to learn. You're, um, honing your craft. You're, this might be classes or workshop. You might be going back to school or learning something here. But this also is the work card. So things are going to pay off here. And we have the three of the swords at the bottom of the deck. So this also might be some unpleasant news. Something comes in that you're not expecting. But I would imagine it's for your highest good. Because all these cards look good. So let's see here. Let's see what signs we have now. What are the signs here for Pisces? Scorpio. Oh, Cancer. Cancer want to jump back up. <laughs> and we have Aries. Cancer again. Scorpio. And Leo. So look at that. Double Scorpio, double Cancer, Aries, and Leo. Okay, we don't have Pisces in here. All right, so this could be placements in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. This could be also maybe the energy that you're tapping into right now. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. So um, maybe that's what's coming in for you. Um, yeah, so now I'm tired. I am so tired. Of, I'm stopping after this reading. Okay, now we're doing 11 letters. This is for, for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and the last name and someone has a middle name and you know that name, get that initial too, all the better. Past, present, and future, and also your own initials. Let's see, we have L, G, J, C, O. Oop, I just flipped C to Y, so you, you might have a Y you could take too. Q. Okay, um, Z, A, E, H, and Z. Okay, so we have L, G, J, C, O, Q, Z. I flipped one of the one. I forgot what it was. Y, A, E, H, Z. Okay, and now we'll pull some names. So these could be initials and names for people that you are working with, you, you have worked with. It could be your colleagues, it could be your boss, it could be your employees, um, new people, old people. Let's see. And then it might just be bringing back some memories or something or thinking about them. Or or they might be just saying a little, hi there. <laughs> I'm popping into your readings to say hello. <laughs> okay, so we have Roxanne. Hiram. Bub, B-A-U-B, Brad, Brent, Cheryl, spelled S-H-E-R-Y-L, Vicky, spelled V-I-K-K-I, Gen Geneva, J-E-N-N-I-E-V-A, Dara, D-A-R-A, Samante, S-A-M-O-N-T-E, I-V-A-V-I, Sabim, S-A-B-E-E-N, and Aaron. Okay, so we have... 13. Okay, 13 names. Okay, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please leave comments. Let me know if it resonates. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and it maybe not all resonate with you, but just take the parts that resonates. Leave the parts that don't. Um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.